Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be covering how to set up a solid state relay with the Raspberry Pi. Before we get started here, I just want to go over a couple of things, uh, mainly the component here. So this is a four channel solid state relay. It's rated on the load side to handle 380 volts and it can take um, an input voltage of 3 to 32 volts. So normally a mechanical relay uh, commonly found with Arduinos and I covered in a previous video works off 5 volt logic so this should work out of the box the Raspberry Pi there shouldn't be a need for a logic level converter another thing to note is I have a sort of defective solid state relay one of the relays is bad I just want to make note of that in today's tutorial I will be going over a DC example so I have four DC motors which will be powered by an 8 point five volt external DC power supply. The first thing that you are going to need are all of these components. So you're going to need a Raspberry Pi of any flavor. I'm using the 3B. You're going to need six jumper cables, a four channel solid state relay or any relay uh, depending on your application and your load. So that could be a light or motors. Um, in this case I'm using motors uh, for demonstration purposes. I have already have this set up, this is not normally the case, but to keep the video concise I'm just going to walk through the setup and you may have trouble following along because it's hard to see, but I've posted the schematic and everything you need for this tutorial on my website, so it's all listed in the description below. Each motor has a positive and negative uh, wire coming out, so if you look at this so I'll sit relay really closely. Every second terminal has one uh, positive input to the motor. And then I just took some spare uh, electrical cable and wired it to the opposing terminals and connected them here. And then I took all of the negative leads and connected them from the motor. So that way we can take our external power supply and just um, attach the negative to the negative and then the positive to the positive. So the, the basically how it works is uh, the circuit is broken right here so when, we, when the Raspberry Pi sends a signal to the relay for example on channel 1 it will complete the circuit and then it will run the motor so that way we can control uh, each of the four motors independently uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So on the input side, we have um, VCC, ground, channel one, two, three, and four. So essentially on the Raspberry Pi, we have the VCC hooked up to the five volt pin. So that's the leftmost GPIO pin on the top rail. So I can show you here. And then ground is the third pin on the topmost rail and then all the uh, input channels are hooked up to GPIO 17, 27, 22, and 23. So that pretty much covers the physical setup. Okay guys, so I just hopped on to another computer and I'm editing the script uh, here in PyCharm. Um, so I'm just going to run through the logic really quick. On lines 1 and 2 I'm importing the necessary libraries. In this case it's the GPIO library and time. And lines 5 through 8, I'm uh, declaring the GPIO pins that we're using for all four channels, as you can see here. And then in the setup function, I am setting those pins to be outputs on the Raspberry Pi. In the motors on function, I'm just turning all four channels to high. And then for motors off, I'm turning all four channels to low. So we're so these two functions will, you know, switch between high and low, which will turn our motors on and off. And the main section right here, I have set up a try and catch block, so we're just going to run through everything sequentially. So the first thing we do here is run the setup command and then we're going to turn our motors on and we're just going to sleep for 10 seconds so the motors will run for 10 seconds and then we'll send the off uh, command 
and then sleep for two seconds and then clean up the pins so that essentially resets them here and this uh, accept portion um, when you hit control C while this is running it may not exit gracefully and the pins will still be mapped um, and you'll have trouble rerunning the script so I've just set it here so if you do interrupt this process it just stops the motors and cleans up the pins so that's pretty much the um, the logic of our script now if you wanted to get more granular and control each motor individually you could break up these functions to control each individual channel uh, right now I'm just controlling all four at the same time to make things simple but yeah so let's go ahead and see this in action so I'm just gonna SSH into my Pi really quick and I'm gonna type Python 3 this script is also compatible with Python 2 um, ssr.py and then run the script so I have some print messages here so the motors are on and you can see the motors are running currently so in a few seconds it should shut off there we go and that's our script in action and yeah guys that concludes the tutorial for today over the solid state relay um, I hope you found this to be informative and helpful for your upcoming projects if you have any questions leave a comment down below I'll try to get to it when I can and stay tuned for upcoming videos peace